Fans poured into Peden Stadium for their first look at the 2023 Ohio Bobcats in front of their home crowd. The Bobcats came into the game hungry after a disappointing week zero loss in San Diego, but this time they had to overcome a school of sharks out of Long Island University. Ohio was fighting an uphill battle without the service of some of their top offensive weapons, including quarterback Curtis Rourke and wide receiver Sam Wigloos and Jacoby Jones. But that didn't seem to phase the Bobcats who came out firing early in the first half. Early in the second quarter, quarterback C.J. Harris found wide receiver Tyler Walton for the game's first touchdown, and Walton found me in the corner of the end zone, who thankfully pulled up because I lose that battle every single time. After a quick turnover on downs, Parker Navarro took over under center and carried the momentum with a 9-yard TD throw to sophomore tight end Bryce Butler. That gave the Bobcats a 17-3 lead going into the break, and the second half was more the same. On their first drive in the third quarter, Navarro connected with another tight end, freshman Mason Williams, for a 32-yard strike. Both Butler and Williams' first catch for OU were touchdown grabs, and it made head coach Tim Albin excited about the future of this program. And they're playing fast, and that's that's got more to do with it than really the skill set. But they, um, we get bright future. We got some, we got some really, really good young talent on this football team. But on the other side of the ball, it was an experienced group working with a chip on their shoulder. They forced two turnovers and suffocated the Sharks with just 206 yards of total offense. A key contributor to this demolition on defense was linebacker Bryce Houston. Houston tallied 11 tackles, bringing his total to 24 in two games. He says the defense is looking to prove a point this season. You know, we all just kind of feel like we've been overlooked as far as you know accolades and preseason polls and all those different types of things like that. And we just want to let everybody know that you know we're, we're coming for it all this year. Ohio posted to a 27-10 victory for their first win of the season, and it adds another W on the Frank. The Bobcats are a perfect 7-0 on Frank Solich Field. It's kind of fun to always be back and be able to see the hometown crowd and stuff like that, but we know what we're supposed to do when we're on our home field. Ohio now hits the road in their next matchup, traveling to Boca Raton, Florida, for a tough matchup against Florida Atlantic. For Bobcat Showcase, I'm Aiden Crowley.